Okay, so on this add-on, it's going to let you copy slides from one slides to another. Yes, you can just highlight and select slides and copy them over, but if you wanted to do like this one, this one, and this one, and not necessarily a whole group of them, this may be faster, so you can try it. So I'm going to make a copy, and as usual, it takes about a minute for the code to load, so you want to just kind of hang tight on that. And I'm going to wait for it. So it says the link to the destination slides. So I have this brand new slides over here that I have nothing in. So I'm going to copy the link up at the top. And these are the destinations. So that's where it's going to. Now I have this other slides presentation that I have a lot of slides in. This has 186 slides. I'm going to copy this one and put that link here in the slides that I want to copy. And then what are the slide numbers? So maybe I want 3, 6, 7, 8, 15, 19, 35, 47, 89, 112. How many did I have? Yeah, I have 186, so I can keep going. 120, 121, 182, right? So I would like to just copy those slides from this presentation to that presentation. Honestly, this probably only makes sense if you have a very large slide deck and you want to choose just a few of them out to transfer them over to another one. So say if you created a whole entire Google Slides for your unit and then you want to take this chunk and move them over, that might be what you want to use it for. Okay, so I've done that. I'm going to go to the add-ons menu and you see under the add-ons menu, I have copy slides. I'm going to authorize that. Authorize. After you authorize it, go back to the add-ons menu and just choose the copy the slides. All right, let's take a look over here. So far, nothing. It's going to take a little bit. It's running. It's thinking about it. So where this can also be really helpful is if you just leave it set up, save the spreadsheet. So then just change the slide numbers that you want to transfer over. And you can say, okay, well, this Monday I want to push this chunk of slides. You put those slide numbers, and it will automatically update it over. Well, you have to use the menu, but it will copy those over and just kind of help you to facilitate slow releasing into a new slide deck that you might be sharing with students. Okay. Is it done? Did it do it? Let's refresh. Here it comes. And here we go. We can see that all of those slides were imported. Now, I just chose some random slides to stick in there, but I was able to get them all in there in one push, so that was pretty nice. Also, it's going to do it in the order of the spreadsheet. So I actually have these as 3697. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete these rows. And I'm going to say, okay, well, what if I have three, whoops, I didn't like that. You don't, this is irrelevant. You don't need these. It's just to kind of help you. So if I did 3, 91, 2, 3, 76, 3, 89, 3, 46, 3. So you can see what I'm doing is I am getting these slide numbers when repeating the 3. So instead of having to one at a time, like, and copy it again and copy it again, I'm just going to put it all in there, assuming that you needed that. And so then I'm going to come back to the add ons menu. I'm going to copy slides. I'm going to copy them too. And what we should see is these are added to the end. So I had 14 slides. Okay, so you see that there is the 14 slides I had. Now when I scroll down, sure enough, I have these. And you can see that I am repeating this thought slide 3 over and over again that they got put in into the order that I had it in the spreadsheet. So it just really makes it easy to 
choose slides from one slide deck and push them over in whatever order you want and to repeat them if you need to. When I like them repeating and I'm pushing new ones, I like to have just kind of like a little title slide, something that lets them know this is a, a break and now we've got a new chunk. So that could be really helpful. And there you go.